Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jay the Stingray. Welcome to another Wicked Wednesday on the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing the film Territories from 2010. This is a French-Canadian film. It was just recently released in uh, the UK. This is from, from Arrow Films. I just got this DVD in the mail today. I want to do a quick review on it. This film is in the English language. When I originally got the film, I thought it was from France, but it's French-Canadian, shot in... Shot in the English language, and it was filmed around Montreal and uh, Quebec area of Canada. It is directed by um, by Oliver Oliver Abu, and it stars Rock LaFortune, Sean Devine, Nicole LaRue, Christine Rosato, and Michael Mando. And this film is about five friends are returning from a wedding in Canada, and they're getting ready to cross the border between the United States and Canada and they get stopped by Border Patrol and uh, they just get really hassled by these guys and it just gets more and more intense and uh, it really really escalates they eventually find a bag of drugs on uh, in one of their bags and you know you just really you're more and more shocked by what's going on in this situation and I really like the first like 20 minutes of the film were really hard for me to watch I was just like really angry but I kind of had to cool myself down and uh you know just just enjoy the film for what it is because you know cops with a bad attitude really pissed me off it's just one of my pet peeves just people with bad attitudes in general people that feel like they're superior but anyway uh yeah these guys eventually it gets worse and worse and they eventually take these folks hostage and uh really no reason for me to go much deeper in the film than that uh i didn't really you know, after the initial part of the film, I, I kind of lost interest a little bit, but it did pick up quite a bit at the end. There is a detective that's that's looking for these kids, and uh, I really, I really enjoyed the ending of the film. Um, you know, overall, I wouldn't say this is all that great of a film. It uh, the the quality is not that great, and they also use a lot of the shaky cam and some of the more intense scenes that. It really drives me crazy. I know a lot of other people are uh, the same way with the shaky cam. It's kind of, you know, run its course. It's time to move on. You know, put your camera on a tripod like a normal person. But, um, yeah, all in all, I would say don't waste your money on this DVD. I would say, uh, you know, if it's if it's relatively cheap or if it sounds like something you may enjoy, check it out. Um, I didn't really know anything about it when I got it. Uh, but, um uh, it's, it's no special features on here. It's just the film. That's it. Um, so, really no reason to waste your money on it. I didn't really get a whole lot out of it. I did like the ending. Uh, not a total waste, but um, not really something I would recommend for you guys to check out. But uh, this, this, it's got a lot of political commentary in it, and that's another reason I really didn't like it. It kind of seemed to me that the, the writer-director was really just trying to capitalize, the political, capitalize on the political environment going on with you know all the stuff that happened in uh, Guantanamo Bay and a lot of stuff that happened after 9-11 in the United States you know with the uh, not in a lot of the new laws they passed and uh, you know a lot of people felt like their rights were being infringed on and uh, you know a lot of bad shit happened but you know a couple of bad bad apples in the mix kind of made everyone look bad but uh, I'm not I'm not big on politics and movies. I have pretty strong opinions on uh, politics. I don't want to get into anything here because uh, I know it's uh, and everybody's always got an opinion and it's it's usually strong one way or the other. So I don't really want to get into any of that. But um, it was okay, but it just seemed like it was laid on a little thick for me. But uh, you know, nice aspect you don't see all the time in horror film, but. Uh, Let's see, I wanted to, uh, to mention this. It says, parallels to the Chainsaw Massacre. Right here, I don't know if you can read that quote. Uh, how many times have you seen that quote on a DVD box? Uh, it, it seems like every film similar to this says that on there. And no real parallels at all to that film. And then it also says, impressive gore scenes here on the back. And uh, I wouldn't agree with that either. But uh, I spend more of you guys. If you've seen this one, please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace.